Good evening, welcome to Lily Bucket Sahari Golfer. Uh, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button for us, will you? We're starting to climb again, so I'm on my way up to the big magic thousand. Now, on Sunday, I played in my first competition, and it was about a three club or a four club wind at times. I mean, I couldn't reach the 15 in two, and I hit driver three wood, and I was still short. Kind of like got blown off the golf course, and um, I'm not a good wind player. Now the trouble with playing in the wind is no matter who you are, unless your name is Phil Mickelson who just won on the Sunday as I was getting blown away, you tend to get a bit faster, your transition gets faster, you just go out of sync and it becomes all a bit of a mess. Well that definitely happened to me because I'm useless in the wind. So today's round is simply trying to flush that bad round out of the way because I'm in another competition on Saturday. In fact, that round was so bad, it moved my handicap index from 4.7 to 5.1. So I'm just gonna go look on the chart and see if see what I'm playing off today. I might be off six. So I'm gonna go off the whites. I'm with a couple of guys. So I don't know how many holes or how many shots I'm gonna be able to record because doing this is a pain in the backside. So, um, It'll depend a bit on, on them giving me permission to record. So this, you might not see any golf at all. You might not, it might be just be a chat at the end. But I've got to keep my card and um, speak to you later. Right. So this horse goes into a bar and orders a pint and the barman says, why the long face? And the horse said, it's because I got the hooks and I'm playing crap. No, seriously, I'm eight over par stood on the 13th tee. Well, I've had a very pleasant 12 holes with uh, a mother and a son, both exceptionally good golfers. So they made me look ridiculous. I don't know, I just don't know what's going on. I got the hooks and I'm fighting the hooks and uh, you, you just can't release the club head when you're hooking. So they've left me now, they've gone back down to the clubhouse. So, um, this video will consist of six holes from the 13th tee. On Sunday, I shot a total of 15 over. I gotta try and beat that. I mean, it's terrible, honestly. Then you get that, you get the anti-hook swing. Might just have held onto the fairway on the right. I suppose attempting to beat 15 over par when you're a single figure golfer, oh, that's ugly, isn't really much of a challenge. Well, it shouldn't be much of a challenge, but it's proving to be that way. Fortunately, I can still chip and butt a bit. When I've had an absolute stinker of a round in a competition, then I do go out and the plan is, let's do it better. I'll go off the same tees and test myself. But I think with that injury, because I couldn't look to the left. So when I had to look to the left, I had to turn the whole body, the shoulders. I think I've got into a position where my shoulders are open. I think my grip's a bit strong to try and correct that uh, that shot to the right I was having. Oh, there's a knife. Just grateful this actually came off the bank and made it down onto the fringe. Wouldn't want to be stuck up that bank. But it has been exceptionally difficult. So nothing's going really well. And now the, the greens are, are speeding up. They're getting some pace into the greens. So that is uh, something that I have to uh, adjust for. Although I do prefer them faster because if they're faster, they tend to be smoother. And when they're smoother, you don't miss stuff. If you read it right, you don't miss.
Now this 15th has been incredibly difficult for me because we've had three weeks of rain. This fairway is exceptionally wet. So you land into the upslope and it just basically goes splat and stops. So I got the three wood here when I should be another 30 yards further on. I should be hitting perhaps a five iron up to this green. Now this was right down the banner, but unfortunately it was a bit popped up, so it's come up short. Which kind of makes this hole quite difficult. As if it wasn't difficult enough. So we're getting there, you know, I'm making single bogeys instead of double bogeys. And of course, as you can see from the flag, there isn't that much wind. So if, if I can't beat my 15 over in that competition then there's something wrong but yeah there's a bit of speed on that that putt simon and you knew it and you still made that mistake yeah it's a bit horrible staring down a double bogey in front of a camera here's this guy who's supposed to be single figures and he's staring at a double but uh, fortunately i got that one now 16 I've had a spot of bother with because I keep pulling it a little bit. When you pull it a little bit, it lands in the rough just out of sight over the brow of the hill and it doesn't run out. And you get stuck on that downslope. Now this is on quite a steep downslope. The camera doesn't show it, but it is quite steep. And this is a shot I have really struggled with. Yeah, not even close to reaching the green. Now this is a simple shot for me. It's just a sand wedge. Open the face. Slide the ball up the face. Land soft. But there's that strong grip and those open shoulders. I fired that long left. Yeah, I, I, sh I should be having a relatively short putt here. And I got this for my par on an easy hole. So you can see the struggles and the frustration. But, you know, I can still lag a putt. Well, the one thing I can take out of this 10 over round is the fact I'm playing this hole better. I've elected to stop chicken and out left and actually fire it down the green and it is working. Front flag today, so no chance of getting any closer to it than this really. But I can still lag a bit. A bit of visible frustration. Yeah, sorry about that. Thing is, golf is the only thing I do well. Really. Can't think of anything else I do well. No good with my hands, woodworking, painting and decorating, crap at that. Can't play football, rugby, cricket, tennis. This is the only thing I do well. So when I'm shooting triple my handicap, it ain't pretty. Now I think I'm actually four shots better than Sunday and I had a six here so hopefully I can improve on that so if I par this I'll be six shots better than Sunday um, yeah so wish me luck for Saturday when it can't get any worse surely trouble is, is I can't practice at the moment the practice ground over here by the side of the 12th the, in the elbow of the 12th it's been used for soil landfill and has been for about 14 or 15 months no actually more than that almost two years now and there's at least another year to go the thing that's keeping me at this golf course is the quality of the grass whether it be the tees fairways the greens and the quality of the bunkers and i like the layout and i like the hill 
But the thing that will drive me away is not being able to practice. Because I can't afford to go and go on a driving range and hit shit balls off shit mats. The same number of balls I used to do when I used to practice properly. When I mean, at the moment I'm going about once a fortnight. Anyway, let's get this job done in front of the clubhouse. Take the camera in front of the clubhouse. Everybody stares at you and they're thinking, who's that wanker with a camera?